Well, I was really proud of the fight that our kids showed. I thought we, we played very, very hard. Um, it played a great first half, and, and shots were falling for us in the first half. It really, it's tough to sustain that for an entire game, but that's what you need to do to beat a team that's as big, that's as athletic, uh, that's as, as physical, and it's as tough to score on around the rim as they are. It's tough to play basketball and, and not be able to get something established around the rim, and I thought that's where we really struggled tonight. But overall, I thought we did a good job of, of, of trying to stay in the game and compete with them. And late in the game, we had to pick them up and try to turn them over, but that doesn't really suit us very well in terms of pressuring the, the guards from Kentucky. And I thought they got to the rim and made some things happen. But at that point in time, we, were, we weren't playing to keep it close. We were playing to try to come back. Yeah, I thought our, our players really did a nice job making an adjustment. I thought the first quarter we came out and defensively we weren't very sharp, we weren't very aggressive. They, they got to the rim against us in, in a lot of different ways. In the second quarter, I thought we did a very good job. Even in the third quarter, I thought we did a better job of keeping them away from the rim. Michaela Epps kind of went off on us for a little while. And so we're trying to find a matchup to try to challenge a pull-up jump shot. But in all reality, it's not necessarily bad defense. That's just very good offense. So it's a very good player making a very, very good play and a tough play. And she has the ability to do that and do it a lot. That's why she's their leading scorer in their 10th in the country or 11th in the country or whatever they are. So she, she really did a nice job um, really kind of handling things and taking over for them down the stretch, I thought. Well, we were trying to do our best to, to keep them away from the rim. And, and I figured, we, we really kind of figured we had to pick one maybe over the other. And so we were trying to keep them away from the basket to the best of our ability. And I thought, again, in the second quarter, we did a pretty good job of that. And their post kids are so tough and physical. And when they did try to throw it inside, I thought Casey, Molly, Michaela all had some, had some deflections. And that, that really helped us. In the second half, they kind of made some adjustments and really went to more ball screen action and let their guards kind of take over and then if we helped up dump it down low or or let their post kids rebound so you know I thought they, they made some adjustments in the second half that were tough for us to to manage well it does and and, and you know I thought Sarah Kinch came in and gave us some great minutes great minutes that, that was really neat and I thought she she did a fantastic job for us so uh, it is tough, though. We have one kid in our program who was recruited at that level, was played at the BCS level before, and physically can compete with that consistently. And so I thought our players found a way to, to, to battle and, and, and find a way to, to stay in the game and uh, without that. But Becca's a kid, even in the Tennessee Tech game, Becca's a kid that late shot clock could get to the basket and create some opportunities for us. And, you know, I thought our post kids did a really good job battling, but they're all sized by five, six inches, and, and those kids are long and athletic, and it's tough to get shots around the rim that are good shots. So um, I, I th that really forced us to just get threes, and that's a tough way to play basketball and come out on top unless you're just on fire the whole game and, and unfortunately we weren't. It should give our players a lot of confidence. It really should. I think they've, they've, we've played a very challenging schedule at this point in time. We've played really three BCS level teams. And so at this point in time, I think we need to get recovered and ready for, for the next opportunity to play. But it should give our players some great confidence to know that, you know, when we battle and when we fight and when we claw and we play hard and we're tough and we have a crowd like we did tonight, that was a lot of fun. I don't know if we set a record with a crowd for a women's basketball game here, but it's the best crowd since in the four years that I've been here, so uh, kudos to our fans. That was really a neat environment in the student section. Uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun for our kids to play in front of that environment.